what's up guys welcome back to another video so today uh, I want to show you how to fix uh, Windows Action Center when uh, it fails to open or when it stops working so Windows Action Center is normally uh, this one here it's actually located on the bottom right corner of the of the screen so if you click on it uh, and see that it won't open uh, it means that I need to uh, uh, fix it so I have four solutions we are going to go through them one by one and uh, solution number one uh, we are going to disable and re-enable the action center so in order to uh, do that we need to open the settings uh, so to open settings go to this uh, system uh, search and then type in setting and then click on this application or another way is to just uh, click on the windows icon then click settings and uh, go to personalization uh, click on it and then so on the left uh, hand side you see this uh, task taskbar click on it and then uh, go to notification area uh, we want this link that says turn system icons on or off so click on that one and the application that uh, we are targeting is action center you can see that by default it is on so click on or click it to turn it off and then after something like two seconds or five turn it on on again and then uh, close it down and try to open it again to see if uh, it has worked so if uh, it didn't work let's move to the second solution and this one we're going to uh, restart the windows explorer uh, so we're going to use the uh, task manager at the bottom of the screen on the task or just at the taskbar uh, anywhere just right click and then uh, click task manager or you can simply uh, type search in the system search that uh, task type in task manager and then uh, under process tab processes tab uh, will be you should be able either to see it at the top here or if it, it is not there scroll down to the bottom and I sh uh, should be able to see it here and then click on it to highlight and click uh, restart it's going to restart the uh, the Windows Explorer and uh, it should actually work so close it down and try to, re re to reopen the action center again so if it won't open or it, it won't or if it fails to work go to we are, we are moving to step number three and uh, so under step number three uh, we are going to rename the uh, a file ne called usr class so i've provided i've provided the this code this code one code one and code two uh, code 2 is for taking to the location where uh, this uh, the file that you want to rename is located so you can either uh, just right click on the windows icon uh, right, like that and then click run or in order or you can just type in uh, run in the search and then click run and then in here uh, just copy uh, the second code uh, control C and then uh, paste here paste it here and then uh, hit enter and now uh, you can see that at the top we have four tabs uh, click on the view uh, view tab and then uh, select the hidden items you can see that uh, it is not selected just click on it to select you can see now uh, a new file just pop up so uh, you can just click on it and uh, uh, type dot old old or you can just without a dot you can just type in old and then hit enter to rename so uh, so when you hit that and then uh, close down and try to reopen the action center uh, it should actually work uh, for some of you 
So if it won't work, so solution number four should actually work. Uh, so let me first of all uh, hide this one here. So we are going to the last solution and uh, I think it is it is the most effective way to actually solve this issue. Uh, we are going to use the uh, PowerShell. Uh, click on the search system and then uh, type in Power PowerShell. And it's going to pop up here. So we are going to run it as an administrator. So run as an administrator. Like that. Click yes. And then uh, copy the code, the first code that I've provided in the link below. Uh, just copy it. Um, I have it. I have it inside the TXT. So me, I have no problem. Just copy. Uh, so right click. Just uh, Control V to paste. So it seems that it has not copied the code. So right click, copy. Uh, paste like that and then uh, hit enter uh, it's going to take uh, quite some time So the process is complete. You can only tell that the process is complete when it when this uh, line of code is displayed. This PS uh, C uh, full column, and then that's when you can tell that uh, this process is complete. Now you can go ahead and uh, close down the PowerShell, and then uh, restart the machine and try to open up the PowerShell again. Actually, you don't need to restart. You can just try to check it up and see if the problem is fixed. So another thing that I almost forgot. So uh, it's not a matter that you copy uh, this code. You can there's some way, a manual way that you can access that uh, file, the location of that file. So you can just go ahead and open uh, the task man, the uh, Windows Explorer. Go to the uh, local disk C or where you've installed the windows operating system and then go to uh, users click on users and then uh, go to the username of your computer uh, so mine this is mine uh, you can yours should be different and then uh, activate uh, go to the view at the top here click on the view tab and then uh, click on the hidden uh, items and then you should be able to see this app data folder. Click on that one and then uh, go to local. And then under local, uh, you should be able to uh, see Microsoft folder. Click on the Microsoft folder. And then scroll down to Windows. Uh, click on Windows. Uh, you can see now the, that file is here. So you can just go ahead and, uh, and uh, rename it. So that's the process. Uh, I believe those four, at least you should find one that uh, works for you. Uh, so that's the end of this tutorial. Uh, see you in the next one.